Good evening, my friends. You wanted to see how I do my CDs, so I thought I'd give a little tutorial. So, I did all these the other day with all the different designs in them and had them drying and you wanted to, to know how I, I went about to put the designs on there. So, I thought, well, I will show you. I use these... Um, stencils like this you can get them at Walmart or at craft stores um, or just anything that will make a design like that and I use this acrylic texture paste I got it at Walmart not all Walmarts have it you can get any kind of texture paste and I put a piece of tape on the back of my CD to hold it and then my texture paste is getting almost all. I need to get more. So then I just squirt it on. If I can get some to come out here. Like that. And I use an old gift card. This one is like a, a Milo's card. And you just fill it in in the, the designs. Push all that. Looks like I'm going to need some more. So you see, it's pretty fast. You just smooth it all in those designs fill it all in that's just kind of like playing with putty and then you pull it off and if you're smart you'll wash that right away I don't always get it done right away so there's your wall design smooth the edges where it went around and I let it dry So let me see if I can come up with enough texture paste to do this one. This is one with cogs on it. This one I'll actually smooth over so that I for sure get the design. And once that's dry, I will fill in the top there that missed with my pattern. So you don't have to be real particular with it, you just Get it put in there and I'm going to show you my next step here's one that is already done I actually missed a step let's do this one and I get out my black gesso so I use this brand of gesso And it's kind of like a, a thick jelly stuff. I prefer the thick. And I just cover it all over. You can use black or white, depending on what color you want. If you want it lighter, you use white. Sometimes it will take two coats of it to fully cover it all over. So I would let that dry. I'm going to sit it here out of the way. While I've got some on my brush, I'm just going to go ahead and do another one. I'm 
So what we're doing, we're just covering up, and the gesso is kind of a chalky uh, paint that makes other paints stick well to them. But you can see it still lets the texture paste raised part that we put there show through. You can see a little through there, but that won't show when I get done with it. So we'll let that one dry. I'm just going to wipe this off a little bit here. And I will show you the next step after the gesso is dry. I'm going to use this one. And I love uh, Prima's wax paints. They're just in these little tins and they last a lot because a little bit goes a long way. So it's made with beeswax and it smells delicious. You just put a little on your finger and you just rub it. And it highlights all those raised sections that you did. Remember the butterfly one that I had posted the other day? And I already sold it. I'm gonna make another butterfly since I have lots of butterflies. And I also have lots of hinges like I used on that one. That was a hinge off of my old cupboards from my house in Texas that I tore out. So I've got plenty of those, I saved all those. So you see, you just cover it all over. And what I will usually do before I put anything on it would be uh, seal it with a spray sealer. So there you go. That one is all finished. Looks kind of like a, a wall of some kind. But we let it dry first and it dries really, really fast. Let me clean my finger here. And I'm going to finish this one. This one I'm using the Art Alchemy's Antique Brilliance Lucky Emerald. It's a green. You see how relaxing this is just to do a bunch ahead of time before I add my embellishments. This one is actually for an order that I have. She wanted a green background. I have not decided what to put on it yet, but I decided I liked this stencil pattern. So you can put on as much as you want or as least as amount as you want. It kind of shimmers and glimmers. So now, let me clean my fingers again here. So now I'm going to start putting this one together. I did this earlier, so it's nice and dry. And I'm going to do this one um, a fall theme. And it's going to have some chicken wire on it. So what I will do is use some hot glue first to hold it in place and then I'll use some E6000 glue to go from there. Some of this will be covered up. Just 
hold it there for a little bit. Sometimes I will sit something on top of it to hold it in place. So while that's kind of fastened, I reached up and got this little earring thing. Snip off the metal part there that holds it on, and I'm going to be using this on there somewhere. Okay, let's see. That's pretty much fastened, and it will get glued down as I glue my leaves on top. So I've got these little leaves that have been covered with uh, Mod Podge to kind of seal them. And that kind of gives me my base. So I'm just going to arrange these on here somehow. <clears throat> Wasn't sure if I wanted to use the green one or not. I don't think it's gonna stand out, so I discard it. So I start by arranging my leaves. <clears throat> hmm. I like it a lot. So I get my E6000 glue and I start by putting some on here. and a dab of hot glue because that holds it in place immediately. The E6000 um, holds it permanently. It doesn't tend to come up as much. See, as you can see, it's popping up there. So I just put a little bit of hot glue that holds it. So we kind of build layers. This is the base layer. It'll kind of stick out there. And I think I want this one next. A little bit of hot glue. The E6000 is a little hard to control, but I have not found a better glue that holds it like I need it. It wants to continue oozing out after after I've had it there. I also have this little pretty thing here with little balls on it that I'm going to cut to fit. And these balls were green and I painted them with gold metallic paint. Kind of give it a little where it'll blend in better with my, my design. So this I'm going to stick in underneath that leaf. some glue on it and work it in under this leaf that's already fastened and this will kind of bend out along there. Time to put this leaf on. A little bit of hot glue to hold it. So you see how I'm just kind of layering them on there like that. And this little leaf fits in like that, I think. I think that's what we're gonna do there. So I'm gonna put some E6000 here. You always wanna put it first and then your hot glue, because hot glue dries fast. You kind of want to work quickly before it sticks. So I've got some some hot glue spider webs going on there. Get 
get it in place. So you see, you know, not always does it fully show. You can see my chicken wire there a little bit. And I'm contemplating putting a little stone like this. And some acorns, yes. I think that will work well, but I need to tack down my little branch here to hold it in place. And it dries pretty pretty quick. If you need something to dry quicker, put a little air on it. And so I'm going to hold it with that while I work over here. little bit of straw raffia stuff there and this is going to sit right over top put the glue on around the edge and then some hot glue in the middle for instant bond and you'll notice I'm putting the orange part towards the yellow leaf and the yellow part towards the orange leaf. And just kind of press that down a little bit. And I'm going to put some acorns there. They're kind of going to look like that when I get finished. And this little gold thing here, earring, used to be earring. So I just play with it till I figure out where I want it. I And actually, I think I'm going to let it dangle loose. like that, but I'll have to hold it up to get it in place. So let's put these in place now. Sometimes you use tweezers to position things. And the other pine, not pine cone, acorn. Did I say pine cones before? Haha. <laughs> acorn goes like that. Not sure if I like this. Maybe I need something different than this one. Look. Aha, I found it. I'm going to use this one instead. stick it in underneath like that. 
Ooh, I like that one. So it's fall, y'all. Or you could call it the song of fall. Either one. And... put this here for kind of a, a backdrop to cover up my smudges. I'll show you what this looks like when it's hanging in its little holder. There you go. So you, these little holders come with it, or you can have it flat, or I can make them hanging. And I'm thinking of getting some magnets to where you could put this on the fridge. So then what I do when it's Oops, it's not totally dry. When it's totally dry, I have these papers cut out of wallpaper books. And I'll probably glue that one to the back. And that's where I write what it is and who made it and what number it is and everything. I think I need just a little bit more glue underneath this heavy stone and it'll have to lay flat for a while to fully fully stick so this can be bent a little bit there you go. It starts from the, the stencils over there to look like this, to the black gesso, to the backgrounds like this, to adding the embellishments and sealer, pretty little things, little metal embellishments, we could put words here, Song of Fall, maybe, whatever you'd like. That gives you an idea how I do it. Love y'all. Have a good day. Bye.